We are here providing hope and healing in a way that nobody else really does. It's one thing to have a place to stay and to release the financial burdens that are associated with going through an illness. And that's very much a part of the facility that provides what we do, but it's the heart that makes us so special. What we can do better than most is provide hope. Our Omaha community is home to some of the best pediatric medical treatment in the world. Because of this, hundreds of children and their families are being referred to us from all our area hospitals. So since 1994, we have provided warm beds, laundry facilities, a hot meal every night. We believe when there's a sick child, there's a sick family. To help ease that burden, we've added programming to heal the whole family. And this past May, we doubled in size, going from 20 rooms to 40 rooms and serving 40 families every single night. We've got some data to back up that families who reside at a Ronald McDonald House anywhere in the world will have better clinical outcomes than those who do not. So that's what Ronald McDonald House Charities does. It doesn't matter to us what your diagnosis is or where you're from or how much money you make. So as a result, we have a cross-section of all different types of diagnoses that come through. Most of my families, when they come in, they've either been on a plane for hours and hours or they've been driving hours and they're exhausted. And I'm the first one that they see. I love all my families, I love the kids, and we get to know them on a personal basis and that's, that's why I love my job. I've watched my son almost pass away five times in the last couple years. It put a heavy toll on you. He's a walking, talking miracle is what he is. Yeah. We ended up here because they have the best transplant surgeon in the United States. We're from Alabama, 18 hours from here. We're very appreciative of a place like this. This has been a very great place to be. The Ronald McDonald House is what we call home here. Sometimes it's just for a night or two. We've had a couple times where it's been a good week stay, and my oldest daughter's been staying there with me, and it's just nice to be super, super close, you know, yet still have time to decompress at night and, and, and kind of take a step back from the hospital so I can refresh and recharge as a mom to be able to, to take better care of my child. I think of her as my miracle girl. You know, I mean, I think all children are, are miracles, but I, I kind of just think she's just super special and I have a lot to learn from her. We do a transfusion sometimes once a week, as many as three times a week, and it was great. We were able to stay there and comfortably not have to stress about, are we gonna get a motel room? Our moms have been able to stay with us so that my husband can go to work and I don't have to be by myself dealing with all the chaos and the roller coaster you go through of emotions. When we had her early, we already had a place to go, to stay, far more spectacular than I ever imagined. I mean, I never hoped to be there, but it's definitely a place to go if you have to. Until you're there, you don't realize the depth of how great of an organization it is. My sister was diagnosed with a spinal cord tumor in 2015. Just seeing the amazing community and the memories that I kind of have when I stayed with my sister and just trying to make the families here now feel as comfortable as I did. I just really like helping out wherever I am. Being able to just fill that little spot in my heart that kind of always keeps my sister with me even though she has passed. It's just such an amazing organization. I just wanted to give back. My husband stays home with our six-year-old and he works with all their illnesses and stuff and being in and out of the hospital, he was out of sick days, so. My grandma came a couple times to kind of help out or there's times where one was in the hospital and the other one wasn't, so I kind of needed somebody here. When we came back today, they walked in like they never left and it's just like home, I guess, like a home away from home, so it's nice to have all of that. You can lean into the hope that something's going to get better, or you can lean into the disparity of the reality that you're facing. We can help lean things to the side of hope. Even on the most lonely days, you will not feel alone when you come here. What you see is a group of people coming together because of a shared human experience. It almost creates 
of family amongst a family. And I think with that comes hope and it comes healing and it, it's, I'm not in this alone and that's what this house is all about. It's more than just a place to stay, it's a community. And it's a community where people go, they go to get better. The stress of, where's my next meal gonna be? How am I gonna get my laundry done? You know, do I have a safe place to stay for the next couple of months while I'm going through all this? The house makes that disappear for you. And they've got this new community and this new family. It really immeasurably changes how well we can, we can do and how successful we are with the kids. There's so many people there that can help you through, even if you just need someone to cry to. We've been overwhelmed by how amazing it is. I always thought before it was a basic room that you stayed in, and it's so much more than just a room. There is some rough times, and it's really emotional, and I guess just kind of being here by myself with them and being so sick. I didn't realize how big of an impact everyone would have on me and my children or our whole family and how much support it would be and the relationships I would make with everybody. My husband has to work right now. It's nice to walk in and have somebody be like, how was Grace's day? Sometimes us moms will stay up till 10, 11 at night just in the kitchen chatting. It's home. You don't get that at a hotel. If you have to be in the hospital, you couldn't ask for a better community or support to be at than the Ron McDonald. This place allows him for his survival, honestly. It makes it to where we can stay close to the hospital, but he don't have to feel like he's being locked up in there all the time. His normal has been in the hospital most of his life. But he's never, he's never known what real freedom was. They allow us to be a family. Grandparents, like myself, you know, us being together. They're all family. We've made friends and family that we'll never forget. It's been a blessing to even be able to still be here. In 1994, the Omaha community recognized a need, and now we see the need more than ever before. It's amazing how a community can come together and rally and create a sense of hope and support for these families. This is what we do. People from the Midwest have a very clear understanding of what is right and having a sense of philanthropic energy that doesn't always exist in other markets. By contributing to the Ronald McDonald House in any capacity, we can say with confidence that you will not be disappointed. I see lots and lots of kids and families every week. It's because I'm busy that I'm involved. We recognized as a team that the Ronald McDonald House was so central to our patients that we would have been fools to not get involved and to not make it the best that it could be to help our patient population. What's exciting is we can now take this fantastic building that we built and we can turn it into something that there's just nothing like it in the United States. We have a ton of cool things that we can do, but we're still going to need everybody's help to make that happen. We can't thank you enough. It's, I mean, incredible the, what they do and the little bit that, you know, you might think it's not anything, but it adds up to so much to so many different families that you're affecting. You would never be disappointed in donating your time, money, resources to children. I think that is one of the best things you can do in your lifetime. If you're wanting to help people that need your help, the Ronald McDonald House is a great place to donate to. It is such a blessing to folks like us and to children like Blakely and many other families.